Hello and good afternoon YouTube. Hope that you are doing great. It's been some time since we did similar videos where I talked to you about the latest updates in the market. What's the situation on the ground in Dubai? How is the market is doing? How is it reacting to the abroad and the worldwide events that's happening all around us? And today this video is totally about this. This video today is mainly about what we see going on in Dubai, what we see happening around the world, how it's affecting it, what's the new project that's being launched in Dubai, how it's going to affect the real estate market in Dubai, and what investors and end, us end users can expect in the coming future in terms of the prices and uh, the interest rates and so on. So uh, with the first subject, uh, it's been some time where I wanted to speak about it. To be honest, I've been seeing it happening from almost a year and uh, it's, it's, it's becoming too much. And the, it's the number of people who are entering into the industry of real estate and who, are, who wants to become brokers. It's, it's not a problem to become a real estate agent, of course, and the more competition in the market we have, it means that the more we will have good real estate agents because you know the, the, the bigger the pool of real estate agents the bigger the number of good real estate agents will be in the market and that will give a very positive uh, image about the Dubai real estate but what we see right now happening since the entry uh, barrier to, to this industry is low uh, basically you can just uh, do the exam get the license and start doing real estate while so many other agents they are not doing the license and uh, they're just working and this is where the job of the real estate agent uh, sorry this is where the job of the uh, real estate investor and the real estate end user uh, to ask about the documentation of the real estate agent and to challenge the real estate agent in terms of the information that they are giving Please don't, even when you are dealing with me, and I, I'm very happy when I deal with a client who's very smart, who's very particular, who uh, study the market very well, who knows in details what they are looking for and what's the competition in the market is, what's the prices that used to be before, how is it right now, how is it increasing, what's the expected future, etc. They study a lot of factors before even talk, reaching to me. And when I talk to such clients, I'm very comfortable because I know that whatever I'm explaining to them, it's already understood by them and it's adding more benefit to uh, their uh, decision-making process. While unfortunately right now what we see in the market that anyone who's just touching down right now in Dubai from all over the world, what do you want to do in Dubai? I want to become a real estate agent. But the issue is that you don't become a successful real estate agent between day and night in Dubai you need to at least understand what are the areas of Dubai, uh, what is the expected return on investment from, from this project, how do you calculate that expected return on investment. We don't look only at this year, for example, this villa right now that I'm staying in, it's being rented for around 200,000 and uh, now the market is high, so this is the expected rent and it will continue like this and based on that I calculate the return on investment. That's wrong. We need to, uh, what, to be in the safe side we always calculate to the owners or to the buyers and expected buyers, we calculate when the market was average. And that's where we place our calculations. So we can guarantee that at the handover, if it's an off-plan project or right now, they are making above what we expected in terms of the return on investment. And if the market goes down a little bit for some any reason that is happening all around the world, because you know that the economy is a side, is consists of cycles so it's up and then down and then up and then down but the years when it's down it's much less than the years when it's up so uh, we make sure that the investors who are investing with us or the end users they are on the safe side always but if I only recommend projects that I see now it's booming and I uh, and then later when the market is down oh, the market is down no that's 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 wrong on my part then because I have to guarantee to the clients 
there is no guarantee to be honest, but I have to do my due diligence and make sure that I'm recommending something that even when the market is down, it's getting the client between seven to 8% re uh, net return on investments. And that's, that's something very important. And then the other point, you, uh, the real estate agent has to understand the demographics of each area, has to understand uh, the return on investment, has to understand what the owner of this uh, or the buyer of this property has to do with it if he's an investor shall he sell it when uh, when the pro uh, when the project is finishing or handing over or in a certain point of time or shall he or she rent it in, in a certain point of time and how do you calculate that how do you reach into this decision you should sell it or you should rent it there is a lot of calculation that goes into this it's not only the return on investment it's the return on, on the equity as well. So we always calculate, okay, the price is increasing of this property and the rent is increasing. Am I still making out of that price between seven to 8% or above? Or now that the price increased a lot, but my rent didn't increase in the same way. And I started out of the new price, I make less than 7%, then at that time I should be selling. I like to give this information to all my clients. I like to explain to my clients about what's right now happening in the market, what used to happen in the market, how the market used to be, what was the prices before, when, let's say, when we were uh, just going out of Corona, when the market started recovering in 2020, when Dubai started opening and welcoming to, uh, the world back into Dubai. Uh, this gives a clear picture that if the property was doing that amount certain amount or certain percentage at that time then we're sure most of the time it will be doing great but if it's a property that is over evaluated right now or over uh, overpriced right now some areas they drop down so much in price because they go up so much in price during the inflation periods or during the high appreciation period so so many calculation goes into everything that we talk to the client about it's it's not an easy job it's stressful it's hectic it's full of ups it's full of downs and little bit ups the hard work that we do as real estate agents i'm not saying we are i'm the only <laughs> real estate agent on the contrary i i can count right now on my fingers from my network only around 10 really perfect real estate agents who always want the best for their clients. They don't care only about how much money I'm making from this client. They care about the long relationship and that's what you need to look for in a real estate agent. You don't, live, you don't want to look for that real estate agent who just disappearing after you sign the contract and goodbye. This, this is something that is unfortunately happening a lot. Some, some agents, they don't consider the human aspect in the relationship between us as agents and the client on the other side because this relationship goes forward and forward and forward this client later on he will talk to his relatives to his friends to his colleagues about that i dealt with muhammad i dealt with kim i dealt with natalia i dealt with x and they have been great they did for me a lot of service i'm still in contact with them they sent me and congratulations on my birthday they asked me how is the landscaping going on etc all of these points guys it's this is the connection that you keep with your client if you disappear the moment you get your commission you're not lasting for a long time in the in the real estate business and many of my clients right now became my friend i'm not saying that all your clients should be your friends but many of them because they add value into my network as well in terms of what the business they do I can recommend it to other clients and I build a bigger chain of connections around my business because the real estate business, it, it can take connections from all the, uh, so many industries that is surrounding this business in terms of, let's say, uh, design, landscaping, furniture, um, fittings, marbles, um, so many things, swimming pools, um, endless number of uh, industries that support the real estate business the next thing is uh, I want to to discuss is a new amazing thing that happened in Dubai and we have been waiting for a long time for it and finally it happened recently there have been a lot of negativity from 
the people in general in the market because what's going on in Canada, what's going on in USA, what's happening in some of the countries in Europe right now that the market is crashing, the market is going down, blah, blah, blah. Dubai is next. Dubai is not a different story and so on. But when we say that it, what's going to happen, what's happening in USA and what's happening in Canada is going to happen the same in Dubai, that's wrong. We cannot generalize. It's every economical situation has inputs processes that happens during this inputs coming into the market and what are the results out of it. In Canada and in US, it's different inputs, different processes that's going on and it's giving different results. That's what's happening in UAE. In Dubai specifically, there is tons of demand right now from people who are coming from Canada, from people who are coming from US, from people who are coming from the big countries in Europe. We are talking about Germany, France, Netherlands, Spain and UK. Uh, these countries or the, the people from these countries are coming to Dubai with big capitals, with their families, with their businesses, and they're moving their full life into Dubai. Dubai is not anymore a country that you come and work in it for a few years and then you go again. No, I've heard that from many of my uh, friends and neighbors and uh, clients, and it's true. Right now, Dubai is turning. It's in a turning phase where it's becoming the country that you can retire in. It's the country that you can come, work, gather money, become rich if you are a hardworking person and you are working in the right place and invest and retire in Dubai. It's in the center of the world. You can travel almost to anywhere in a very short time. It has one of the best airlines in the world, has one of the best infrastructure. Uh, we're having seven to eight months of nice weather. I know right now, Many people are complaining over the social media about the weather right now, but come on, we are in the Middle East, guys, and to, we are having right now the temperature around 40, 40, in the middle of the day, it can reach into 45 degrees, but this is only for three months. If I look at it, if I, and everywhere I go, there is AC, the cars, the taxi, the metro, the, the metro stations, the bus stations, even it's uh, uh, AC controlled. Uh, so. There is not like in, I can I can handle these three months, but I have most of the most of the year is good weather. It's the same if I'm in Europe or if I'm in Canada. I have like four to six months of freezing weather that you can barely move in it, and also you jump from the car into the mall and everything is heated. Same is here. So cannot only just complain, you know. Every every country has uh, its uh, pros and cons, and the the pros in Dubai are way higher than the cons. Safety is an amazing aspect in Dubai. So back to the subject and to what really happened in Dubai. So a lot of negativity there was around the world and Dubai wanted to show the people, wanted to show the rest of the world that I'm not slowing down, guys. I'm moving forward, I'm putting tons of money into new projects and I'm gonna impress the world more and more and more as I used to do always and always and now uh, around 10 days ago to two weeks, if I remember correctly, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, uh, the governor and ruler of Dubai, he launched the new Palm Island, which is uh, Jabal Ali uh, Palm Island. The Jabal Ali Palm Island is double the size of uh, Palm Jumeirah that every one of you knows, where it has Atlantis and Atlantis Royale and many other. Uh, amazing buildings and hotels. Now, Jabal Ali Palm will have at least 80 hotels. The infrastructure, they will start working on it soon. The, the Palm itself, it exists. If you open Google Maps and you will see right now with the satellite view, you will see that the Palm is there. And you can see, if you zoom out a little bit, you can see exactly how big is it compared to the uh, uh, to Palm Jumeirah that it already exists in and it's full right now. So. This area, and now I will put a picture showing you the areas that will be benefiting from the launch of the new farm. You can see this picture. All right, you saw the area that I marked in red, and this area, if we look at the area that is behind uh, the Palm Jumeirah, as you can see in this picture now. Okay, 
This area that is behind Palm Jumeirah is Emirates Hills. Emirates Hills is one of the most in demand areas, one of the highest return on investment area, what is one of the uh, highest capital appreciation areas, and one of the most in demand areas in Dubai. Being affected by the business hubs that is around it, which is Internet City, Media City, JLT, uh, TCOM or Barsha Heights, Al Barsha, and even uh, like Jabal Ali kind of close to it, all of these areas is feeding uh, tenants, uh, owners into the Dubai, uh, sorry, into the Emirates uh, Hills area. And when the palm is opened, it added a lot of value into this area because we, why, why I'm talking about all of this? Because now, if you look right now, again, I'll put the picture. Into Palm Jabal Ali, the areas that is behind it, there is some area that looks like Marina and I believe I'm the first one who talked about it because no one is talking about it. There's an area that looks like Marina and it's already the water in it, but there's nothing built there yet. And the areas that is behind it, there's commercial areas, there's Jabal Ali, there's the business park, there is the uh, logistic hub, there is uh, the aviation city, and there is Expo. All of these areas also highly commercial areas and it's rising right now. So we are expecting the same story that happened in Palm Jabal Ali, uh, that happened in Palm Jumeirah to happen in Palm Jabal Ali again. So this area in specific that I highlighted is going to boom in appreciation, it's going to boom in price. It's, it has all the factors for success of a, a, a real estate area. So focus on this area in your investments. Listen to, uh, to the analysis that is coming about this area. And if you need any more further information, I'm always happy to provide this information for all my clients, for all my investors, for all my end users. And I'm always happy to be challenged by clients into the information that I'm giving because that keeps my mind running, keeps me interested into what I'm doing. And it's actually, I keep saying it to all my team and to the clients that I'm working with, if the real estate agent is not in this business because of passion for real estate and they are just doing it as a as a job to be honest that's not a long time career if you need you need to be really in love with real estate you need to be ready sometimes to cross from dubai south to go to maidan because you have to meet a client at the at the developer office sign a contract or sign an mou with the with a client go to downtown because you have another viewing come to the mac hills and then go back into dubai south this is a normal day if i would be lazy or if i would be let's say ah no i want a big deal or i want like this i'm not going to stay in the market for a long time guys and this is we are in this for the long time we are not looking for a client a deal or two and then i relax for the rest of the year because okay i got a half a million dirham and that's enough for now let's relax let's go vacations etc no it's not like this and uh, i'm looking for the long run i'm looking for the potential for the clients and the relationships that i'm having since we started until now I cannot imagine how much added value i have from the connections that are around me in this industry, from the people that I'm getting to know, from the amazing clients that I got to know, from even out of the country, most of our clients are from out of the country, and the way we add into their life, with the way we add value into the information that they know, the way I talk to many clients whom they are telling me, we looked at your videos, and we were teaching some other agents about some areas because we know information from the videos that you are publishing more than a certain agents who were not knowing this information when we were, when we were asking them about it. Guys, it's our job to make sure that we analyze perfectly any project that we are selling to the client because clients are trusting us with their money. It's the third most important thing for most of people in their life. Number one is their health. Number two is their family. Number three is their hard earned money. So 
It's not even if it's like a studio for four or five hundred thousand dirham. It's not a simple thing because that studio for the person who's buying a studio might be as of value like someone who's buying a mansion. Each one has his own budget. So the money that the people earn is earned very hard, and we know that. So when when we need to when we recommend to someone, we don't need to rush. We need to to understand their situations. We need to understand that it's a huge budget that they are putting. It might be the biggest thing that they would ever buy, and most of the time it is. Not everyone buys a yacht and a jet, so the, the house is always tend to be the biggest thing that people purchase in their life. So it's not uh, we get bored from the client because he's thinking or I don't know. No, they have to think. They have to understand. They have to ask. They have to visit more than one options, and they have to be in clear understanding that they are making the right step and always the client have doubts and that's that's healthy that's from the nature of humans and they, when they have doubts it's our job as real estate agents to take these doubts analyze it put where it's correct and where there is no need to be doubting about this and answer the client it's not just yeah this is a great project yeah yeah this is amazing project especially from the new agents that I see right now who just touched down in Dubai and they're becoming a real estate agent. What do you know from Dubai? I know Imara and the man, the biggest players in the market. Okay, what else? Uh, nobody knows because they are new in the market. I don't blame them, but why you need to be a real estate agent? At least you need to day and night really eat all the brochures that is coming from all the developers, understand the map of Dubai, understand the demographics of each area, understand What's the benefits of investing in each area? What's the future of it? What was the past of it? All of these factors, please challenge your agent when you are talking to any real estate agent, challenge them with the information. Don't, it's not an easy process. It's not an easy step. And always be careful. Always do your due diligence, even if you are dealing with the best real estate agent in the world. And uh, there is a new project that is coming right now from Imar. There is only glimpse uh, right now, which is called uh, the Oasis uh, by Imar. It's going to be on the other on the uh, other side of uh, DIP. It's like closer to the city from DIP side, and uh, it's going to be uh, themed with lagoons and water uh, water features or water surfaces with villas between five and six bedrooms and the prices I believe starting from around eight million dirhams. Uh, it's mostly an end user project because it's big properties and it's big budgets that goes into these properties. We have a lot of mansions as well that is coming soon to the market. Stay tuned. The launch of Imar South is happening very soon. We are expecting it towards the end of this month, maybe before Eid, but mostly after Eid holidays. And one last story before I leave you for today. Uh, two days ago, I believe, or three days ago. Sorry, I'm not uh, remembering it exactly. Uh, the Fed Reserve, they paused the hikes of uh, interest rates, which is the first time since 10 consecutive times when they kept increasing their interest rate. What that means, is it the end of that periods where they increase uh, the interest rates uh, for uh, the loans and mortgages or they might increase again we will have to wait and see but we will be in front of two situations if they stopped increasing the uh, interest rates it means that sooner or later the interest rate will start dropping and that means that will be more buyers coming into the market those who are waiting to take a mortgage but they are at the same time waiting for the mortgage rates to drop down and the second option that if we uh, saw another increase in um, the interest rate then the people who are waiting to buy in a, uh, with a mortgage, they might head to the off-plan uh, projects that are uh, with good payment plans and still that will uh, also increase the demand in Dubai. So in both situations, the demand in Dubai keeps on increasing. The projects in Dubai it finishes very quickly. Like when we are talking about master plan community of like 300 to 600 villas finishing in three years, guys, this is amazing. 
I know that in European countries, this is, takes way more. And I've heard it from many clients. Dubai is very fast and very accurate in what they do. And they do communities, especially after Corona, like no other, really. Like the amount of um, activities, the amount of entertainment that you have inside your community, the facilities that you have inside your community, hospitals, schools, kindergarten, uh, malls, mosques, uh, clinics, whatever, whatever you can think of, it's already hotels, whatever you can think, restaurants, everything that you can think of is like within five to ten minutes away from you, and that's how the the communities in Dubai is being built. Uh, entertainment, each new master plan is having at least at least twenty type of entertainment and activities right now, and some of them are reaching into the fifty activity so if you will use one of them each day you will need more than one month to finish them or almost two months to finish all the activities and repeat again and uh, that's it for the news today please don't forget to share subscribe hit the like button don't hit it just click it a little bit okay if you have any questions any information that you would like me to answer you would like my advice if it's a product like let's say you know the buyer, you, sorry, you know the owner, you want to buy it, you want a consultation from me. It's not a product that I'm going to sell for you. I'm not going to benefit anything from that. But you want a legal advice, no, sorry, not a legal advice. Uh, you want a real estate advice because I'm not a legal person. But if you want a real estate advice, please don't hesitate. You have my WhatsApp, uh, my email, and uh, my phone number. You can text me and you can email me. I will be happy to assist you. Please don't forget to share, subscribe, and always stay tuned for new videos full of information and uh, full of, um, let's say, ambition about Dubai real estate market, this amazing city of Dubai that most of us are in love with it. It's like a fairy tale, but it's a reality. It's, it's going to stay here. There is no negativity accepted in Dubai. Negativity has no place in Dubai. But Dubai is always pushing and showing the world that we are here to prove always and always and always that we are amazing in dealing with crisis. If the world is having crisis, doesn't mean that it should happen again in Dubai. Okay, uh, stay tuned, stay ambitious, stay uh, optimistic and invest in real estate carefully and make sure that you are dealing with the right real estate agents. And again, I say, challenge your real estate agent. Take care, have a great day, and see you soon in other videos. Bye-bye.